Hello everyone, welcome to Final Fantasy. Let's play Final Fantasy X to the HD Remaster. I'm gonna pull this up so we don't need cutscenes while I'm talking about this. Okay. Before we begin this, there's a few things I need to say. First, this is a the first um, sequel in the Final Fantasy franchise, like overt sequel. Not you know, maybe it took place in the same universe. Like straight up, this is after Final Fantasy X, obviously. This story takes place uh, ten, or two years after the events of Final Fantasy X. Now, in the HD remaster on the PS3 and the PS4, as well as international versions on the PS2, I believe at least, there is a special cutscene called the Eternal Calm, which basically gives you a um, rundown of events that have happened since Kingdom... Oh, not Kingdom Hearts. What? Huh? Since Final Fantasy X. Um, if you wish to watch that cutscene, feel free to check it out on your own time. You can find it on YouTube if you want to, if you don't have the game. I recommend, you know, having the game and watching it, because there's a trophy associated to watching it, but besides the point. I'm going to go through real quickly clip notes of what happened in the Eternal Calm video. So if you don't want to get spoiled for you, feel free to skip, um, or check it out on YouTube. It's about a 15 minute long video. So, first things first. Two years have passed, and we learned that, spoiler, Waka is expecting a child with Lulu. So, yay! I'm so happy they got together. Uh, we also learned that there are now two new factions vying for power in Spira, the Youth League and New Yevon. The Youth League um, want a better future for Spira by pushing advancements. This means embracing, you know, Machina and pushing things forward. New Yevon is more traditionalist. They still want a better spear, yes, but they are more reserved and want to take things more slowly. Like, suddenly going straight into Machina Age is a little too much for them. But they still want a better, still want a better world. Um, we don't really know much about them yet. Um, Yuna is being pressured into marriage by multiple people, and she keeps saying no, but one of them happens to be the son of New Yevon's chairman, which is interesting. Um, we also get a messenger from the Youth League named Yaibol, and is trying to pressure her to join the Youth League as well. Uh, he also name drops their leader, Nuge, with the title Maven. Um, we also learn that Riku has been traveling throughout Spira, finding and salvaging Machina, and training, you know, Yevonites on how to use them. But since they've been so repressed, they kind of need to learn how to use this stuff. So, that's what you, that's what Riku's been pretty much doing. However, Kimari has been on Mount Gagaset, training the orphans, and while there, he has found a sphere. A very interesting sphere, because inside is a person who seems to be Titus. The problem is, this sphere is really old, as in, like watching, um, the very first recorded video. And if you know what that is, it's basically like, I think like a train or something, or horses galloping. It's very old, very degraded over time, but you can hear Tidus' voice and see someone that looks like him in the video. So, Riku invites Yuna to join her in trying to figure out more about this sphere. So, Yuna, without telling Waka, decides to basically leave behind her obligations because she is still High Summoner and has a lot of obligations, meeting with people. She's, according to Waka, she's filled for three months. And she leaves all that behind to go and find out more about this sphere. Their first clue is Gakazet. Um... And that's pretty much it. That's all you learn in the uh, the trailer of the video. Now, on to this game. This game is very interesting in that it has a um, it's been reworked from the ground up in terms of playstyle. We no longer have the sphere grid. We level up in a traditional way, levels one through ninety nine exp. Uh, we also get some new abilities. Uh, we'll get into those as the game uh, plays on. But what's bigger is <coughs> excuse me. This game has multiple endings. There's the good, the bad ending, the good ending, and the true ending. Uh, I think there's one more ending somewhere in that. Um, in order to unlock the ending, the, the, the true ending, which we're aiming for, we need a 100% story completion. Which means we have to do 
everything. And there will be an actual story percentage uh, gauge in the game. Now, I'm going to do my absolute best to 100% this game because I love this game. It has one of my favorite Final Fantasy X characters in it. Um, that being said, there is a lot more um, music in this game. By music, I mean straight up singing. This, is dur this was during the age in Japan when teen idols were all the rage. And um, there were a lot more anime and manga centered around uh, Shoujo Magica. I think that's what it's called. No, that's an anime. Uh, basically, magical girls. So, you will see a lot of that referenced in this game. I mean, a lot of it. So, it's going to be a bit different. But I like the game. The, the, new, the new features we will get into, I love a lot. But, let's just get into it. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I really am. So, the opening cutscene does have one of those songs I mentioned earlier. Um, I am going to have to edit it out because it is copyrighted. So I'm probably going to put my usual when that's not or something over that. I may actually find something more upbeat to go with it. But um, if you want to find the song for it, um, look it up on YouTube. Just type in Final Fantasy X 2 opening. It's really good and a really catchy song. So let's go.
I say hit the, hit the screenshot button. Whoops. Wandering Pain's my favorite um, Final Fantasy X character. I love Pain. I have no clue why. Okay, so let's see if it, if it worked. Active. Whoop. All right, I'm about to pause it right here. Okay, so basically, as you can see, there's no longer the turn-based system as it was before. We have an active time, um, active time gauge where we just basically fight when it's our turn. Attack when it's our turn. The gauge will fill up at the where our HP is, as you can see it, and that's pretty much how that goes. I like how it changed. Okay, so now due to the fact that there is a um um a hundred percent storyline thing, I will pause the game a lot more often and go. Okay, let me double check to make sure I'm not missing anything, because if you don't talk to one person. Or you skip a cutscene, or you press X while someone is talking and cut their dialogue off, there is a good chance you won't get 100%. You have to listen to everything. So, fun. Alright, so that being said, let's go on to these two characters. We have Unknown Lady here, who appears to be Yuna, but we don't know. She has A2 HP. Uh, let's see here, we can steal high potions. And she will drop Phoenix Downs. The Goons will... You can steal um, Budget Grenades or Phoenix Downs. Common and rare. Or they will also drop uh, Potions or Phoenix Downs. Common and rare. So, let's go! <laughs> Love this game so much. Alright, let's steal... From you. Alright, Goon. Boop, high potion. We also have charge time on our ability, as you saw by uh, Pain. Her ATP gauge turned purple, so she was charging up her attack. That happens with everything from spells and everything else. Now, what's cool is if you timed your combos right, you can literally combo lock an enemy. You'll see me do a lot later on with some of the other uh, abilities we get. All right. I could have danced all night. Sorry, no time for an encore. Hold still. All right then. So we are also looking for someone. All right. All right. Auto, just make sure everything's set. No accessories. Config. All right, all right. So I want, I want to mention this. Okay. So basically, um, <laughs> excuse me. Active is how it was right now. Uh, basically, when we are fighting, we have no pauses. With this, when it's our turn and we have the action selected, we can pause it and think things out. This is why I recommend having turned on. Turn that on. Turn those on. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna mess with that just yet. Let me make sure. There is something we're, gonna, we're going to be, uh, need to get. Alright. A very easy thing to miss. Ah, oh, pain. I've missed you, girl. Alright, not this way. Keep going. This is a great place to early game level grind, by the way. These guys are weak. You can get a lot of AP, or a lot of uh, AP, a lot of uh, EXP, and some, a decent amount of early gill as well. Nice knowing you. All right, then. I think it's in this area we need to look to our left. 
Yep, that is why. Oh, she goons. Let's keep it going. The music is so much more hype, too. I love it. Alright, so I'm actually going to be recording a few sets um, of this until I get to a point where I can level grind. This is one of those games where you will probably see my famous I got bored a lot. Alright, let's steal from Shiku and see what we get. It's not ni nice! Ouch. Rude. Two. Bam. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Ah, freaking spawning enemies. Attack the goon. Pain's brutal. I love her. Alright, just show off how the, the weight thing works. Like this, their ATB will no longer move up. So I can just go, okay, I want to do this, or I can just go, boom, decide what I want to use. So that's how I recommend playing this game, having the weight turned on because it makes, makes it a little bit easier. Ooh, I learned Sentinel, yes. Talk to the Moogle. If you miss that, you will not get 100%. Period. Alright, so I learned... Sentinel. Alright, cool. I'll teach you... I'll talk about how abilities work later on once we actually get access to the menu where we find out, find out about that. There's also a lot more versatility with the map, too. Because your characters actually move around the map. I love it. In case you can tell, I love this game. Hey, you run too fast! You're too slow, little girl. Show's over! Ouch. This way. I got Yuna! Oh, she looks good. Okay. So here we have Logos and Ormi. Logos has 86 HP. He's the one with the guns. We can steal silver glasses from him. Uh, he'll drop potion or Phoenix down. Ormi has 97. He's the tankier one. Uh, he can, you can get an iron bangle from him. All right. Okay. Oh boy. Let's steal and see if we can get those glasses. Keepers. Got the glasses. Sugar happy. So I get the combo going. Power break. Army. Got the bangle too. Nice. So yeah, Yuna is a gunner right now. She is a DPS ranged fighter. Is that no? Come on. Bang. It's usually best just to attack physically with her until later on when you're able to do more damage with her trigger. Whew. Or me. 
You're mostly going to use um, Trigger Happy just to uh, interrupt combos. This is how I do it. I've got real logos on the army. Cannot speak. Yeah, I love that. Fun little side note. I uh, rented this game for the first um, couple of times playing it, and it would not load past that opening cutscene. I've seen that cutscene, opening cutscene, at least 30, 40 times because it would not play past the uh, cutscene for whatever reason. Talk about my, talk about my own copy. Enough sniveling, boys. Persistent, aren't you? My grid. You give us back Uni's garment grid right now. Didn't you girls ever learn to share? Give it back. Very well, it's yours. <clears throat> but it won't be yours for long, loves. All right, here we learn about Garma Grids. All right, this is also LeBlanc, so I'm going to explain her real quickly. She has 130 HP. We can steal silver bracers from her, and she has a chance of dropping either a high potion or a phoenix down. Okay, on the grids. These are basically our... Uh, if you play Final Fantasy Tactics, these are our jobs. We can switch between them at will. <laughs> Excuse me. We currently only have access to um, the warrior, the thief, the gunner, and the songstress. These all allow us to do different type of abilities. Warriors are physical oriented, so they'll do more physical oriented attacks, like pain. Thieves are agile, they have double attacks, and you can steal, like Riku. Gunner is ranged, low attacks, but you have DPS, like Yuna. And then you have the songstress, which is a bard, which gives you access to a bunch of fun stuff. Stats bo boosting and um, stats ailments. And this happens every time you transform, unless you shorten it. Which I probably end up doing. Alright, Dark Stance, which will put blindness on her. This is a little embarrassing. Pull for kill, nice. This is the part where you get hurt. Alright, so for so long as Yuna is dancing, the block is gonna be blind. That's how that ability works. This is goodbye now. And there are many different other types of dances you can learn. You can do stuff that will increase our attack, increase our defense, um, decrease their stuff. Make them more susceptible to elements or attacks. Stuff like that. It's all very strategic. We also get different grids, which will give us different um, abilities, doing certain things, hold more dress spheres, as they're called, stuff like that. It's all fairly interesting. I, I, I won't let you off so easily next time. Riku. Huh? What? What? Uh, what? Hey. Finally get the stuff that was from the uh the battles we did, as well as the gill. Wow, we got a good amount of kill. My body just started dancing by itself. I didn't know what was going on. I was frightened. Then, while I was dancing, something happened. This is our new airship too. I love this baby. sure looked like you were enjoying yourself. I was. It felt like some other person's excitement just took over. That can happen when you use the garment grid. 
The emotions of the person recorded in the sphere pass to the user. Isn't that dangerous? I can't really say. But it's your invention. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Dance, Yuna! I want to see! It'll cost you. One moment. She's kidding. What? No dance? Ha <laughs> ha! Looks simply... Goins! The wind could eat up! Okay, so basically... I completed my latest invention. Thank you. Okay, this creature creator thing was only added in, in the um, HD remake and I think Final Fantasy X Air National. X2 Air National. It's all kind of really cool stuff because it gives us the ability to capture fiends and other other cool things and use them in battle with us or in, a, in monster arenas that Shinra puts up. Now what's cool is, slight spoiler, we can even get Aeons, kind of, if we do the right thing. Which I'll get to later on. Okay. <sighs> Time for the front half of the Let's Play where I always explain everything in detail. Okay. First things first, Garment Grids. As I mentioned, the Garment Grids are where we put in our dress spheres, which are our jobs, basically. We can organize this however we want. Uh, but War Warren is telling us that um, who has the equipment and whatnot. And we can organize them however we want to, so we make it easier. So if you want, say, uh, Riku or a pain to be more quickly to be able to go to a gunner, we can move her one slot over and she'll be able to transform into a gunner or songstress easier. That kind of thing. Um, some garment grids also come with a natural ability, like um, more EXP, more AP growth, stuff like that. We have to find those though. The dress spheres come in these, the abilities here. Let's actually Equip Yuna. Switch over to the gunner, because I want to get that done first. Give her... Let's see here. Iron Bangle. Give you Silver Glasses so she don't get blind. And the Bangle for you. Okay. Abilities. <laughs> Let's go into that now. Gunner. So, as we do, um, I think attacks, I think it is, that are, we kill certain enemies, we get AP from them, obviously. Um, I think it's attacks, I can't really remember, crap. Basically, the more we do certain things, do certain actions, <coughs> excuse me, we will gain, uh, new abilities. Basically, we have to learn the ability, we will learn the ability selected. For example, I'm gonna learn Pop Shot next, this, because it's what I have equipped next. As you can see, a lot of this is currently unlearned. This is due to the fact that I have that a lot of them have prerequisites required. Um, here we have all the stuff that she has for warrior, for the for uh, her uh, ma her mage, her um, songstress, her thief, Riku. She has a little more, so she's learning borrow time, which I'm actually going to change to flee. Always best to learn the lower level one, the lower stuff first. Warrior. Yeah, let's go with the brands. Those are fun. Okay. Uh, do do accessories. Don't know about that. The dress spheres. Here are all the dress spheres available in the game, but we don't know. We don't know which one. What we have, uh, I should say. There are quite a few. Two of which have been added into the HD edition that was in the, that was in the original international version. <clears throat> and you can also see uh, where they fall in terms of abilities. I'm assuming that's what this kind of, this grid kind of thing means, because you have warrior and thieves on the opposite spectrums. Here we have the creatures, which we don't have yet. Party members, we can actually switch them out for the creatures we learn or gain. We'll always only ever have Yuna, Riku, and Pain as our party members. Um, the only way to change them is if we get uh, monsters. Alright. That being said, let's do our first initial save, I should say. 
Also, um, Albert Primers are different now. The uh, war, everything's different now. <laughs> All right, let's see here. A little bit of Celsius. Okay, first let's save. Save. Get our big droid save out of the way. All right, first things first. We're going to go talk to Buddy. He is the... Uh, Navigator of our ship, the Celsius. He's over here. Still analyzing. Buddy and brother are old friends. Buddy says he was aboard Sid's airship with us two years ago. When I told him I didn't remember, he seemed disappointed. All right. We're going to talk to uh, brother next. Yuna, has my talking gotten better? He really has improved quite a bit. <laughs> he told me that he practiced just so that he could talk with me more. All right. So, Brother Albert Ray speaks her own unique language. Yuna has managed to pick up a little bit of Albert during her time, her travel to Goldwings, which is the group we're in. But she still has a ways to go. Go digging at the out for Albert Primers in the Bicanel Desert. Explore yourself. Uh, expose, yourself, expose yourself to the language as much as possible, and you'll be proficient in no time. Basically, as I said, Bignal Desert will teach us more of the language, but we can also learn it by just talking to people. He gives us three. Let's go! Party! <laughs> Party! <laughs> and we get the festival. No, oh, sorry. The festivalist dress sphere from him. Which is one of the new ones to add into the HD version. So let's go ahead and equip that to our grid. Um, okay. I want it in a location that all three of them can get to. So let's put that here and this here. Not that. that. Uh, can I? Let's do that. Okay. Abilities, you know, Festivalis. Dang, it's actually kind of easy. All right then. So we got that. Um, I don't want. Anyway, the Festival Stratosphere is most noted for its quick learn confuse ability. Uh, phrase. Yeah. Use that specific enemy. Hold on, see here. You. Da -da, okay. Same shoot here. It's about to all on. Coming out. Oh, I see. Okay. We'll learn that later on. Alright, so we're going to speak to Riku, Pain, and Shinra next. Having fun? You bet. It all began when I saw this sphere of you. At least, it looked like you. I couldn't say for sure. I thought I might find more spears like it if I joined the Gullwings, so I did. Oh, in case you're wondering, the Gullwings are sphere hunters, and sphere hunters are, well... <laughs> this. We fly all over Spira. I'm really enjoying myself. Glad to hear it. For a while there, I was starting to feel like a kidnapper. <laughs> Don't be silly. Sphere hunters are basically just that. They hunt spheres to learn more about uh, the past of Spear, so they don't have to repeat it. This is Pain. I look up to her as a sphere hunter, and also as a friend. I still don't know her very well. She's not exactly the talkative type. I heard she joined the Gullwings shortly before I did. Riku doesn't know much about her either. What now? Nothing. I like pain. Hey, Shinra. I know everything. Sure you do, bud. Shinra's an Albed. He's a real whiz kid. Okay, so we want 
Shield's got to everything about Garmagrits. After we go through this, we'll get a free Garmagrit. The Vanguard. 